necessary evil. So, all right, here we are, and it is April 20th, and we are on topic 12, utility interconnection permitting and inspection. And uh, as it says here, these are, well, it's all important, of course, but uh, these are intended as practice for the NABSEP exam. Um, you will get credit for completing the quizzes, but not be penalized for incorrect answers. I just want to take a, a little stroll through here, preview the quiz now, just so we know what we're getting into. Service conductors and supply side connection must be side for at least X percent of the continuous load. Um, I do not know the answer, but I'm, I'm guessing that it's probably 125 or 150. Let's just take a guess. In the U.S., technical cards for PV system are established through national codes and standards published by. I'm going to go all the above on that one. Yeah, UL is safety, IEEE, just make sure it's got the capacity and don't burn it down. Circuit breakers are circuit breakers, power of the breaker. Blank circuit breakers, with load side, disconnect the PV. Sure. I'm not sure that's that's written that well. I'm just going to go with backfed because if it disconnects the PV to the to the bus bar, I'm not sure. I'm not sure on that. But. Blank systems can be employed to manage and optimize utility. Hybrid standalone bimodal. I'm going to call it bimodal. Also be hybrid. We'll see. We'll see soon enough. Blank metering records exported separately. Uh, I'm going to go on. I'm going to go net for that. 100 amp distribution. 100 amp. You have back feed breakers supplying no more than. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's a good one too. I don't know. I'm going to go 20. Blank generation is a system in which many smaller powering, power generating systems can create electrical power near uh, the point. How about distributed? Blank systems are interactive. That include battery storage. I'm going to stand alone on that guy. Circuit breaker and a distribution is panel placed. This one too. If it's the whole, uh, no, we'll that one. Uh, blank is a non-utility scale power producer that meets the technical and procedural requirements for the interconnection. Non-utility. Hmm. That's another good one too. Qualifying facility, independent power producer. I'll just call it that. Blank is an agreement contract between distributed power producer and electric establishes the terms. Hmm. I would think that was a power purchasing agreement, but okay, interconnection. I'm just kind of guessing so we can get through this thing. Article 69064 permits the output of interactive PV inverters to be blank side. side. You like meter side? Let's try it. Sure. Okay. Let's finish. So 
So 12 questions. I, I'm, I don't probably didn't do all that well. Ah, better than I thought. Okay. Okay. Buck 25. All of the above. Back fed breakers. Keeps it from going back out to the panel. Uh, bimodal. Okay. Why is that not net metering? Dual metering. Okay. Exported and imported. Okay. Yeah, I guess net does it the same. Yeah, okay. That makes sense. All right. Um, 20 amps, pretty standard. Distributed, pretty easy. Standalone. Standalone. Good. It's funny. I'm getting the ones wrong. <laughs> interactive systems. Well, okay. So I guess I guess if it was not interactive, it then it would be standalone. standalone. Okay. Okay. Backfeed circuit breaker. Backfeed circuit breaker. The furthest space from the main breaker. There must be a reason for that. Well, maybe just so you don't flip flip one instead of the other, so they're just clearly you know, yeah yeah that yeah, yeah. must be it. That makes sense. You know, don't don't turn off the main. Turn off the back feed. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Qualifying facility, I like that. Connection. connection. Fine. Good. Load. Out. Output of interactive PV inverters to be on the load side. Okay. So if it's on the load side, that means you, it's just going straight to the load and not even. The meter, okay. Like I guess, I guess, me, it's it's that's what we answered. Meter is not right because the the meter actually defines the sides. Which, which side are you on? Are you on the are you on the load or the power side? So, okay. All right. Could have been worse. Could have been. Let's do another one. It was quick. Very simple. Very easy. Permitting and inspection. Preview quiz now. Okay. This is ten questions. A blank is permission from the AHJ. What's that? American Housing American Jurisdiction? Maybe. Okay. That authorizes construction work to begin and establishes the inspection requirements. Authority housing jurisdiction? Having. Oh, authority having jurisdiction. Okay, so it could be the city, it could be the state, it could be, uh, okay, yeah, all right. Organization individual doesn't mean Nice, okay. Uh, they approve equipment, materials, installations, procedures. I think a permit it says. Well, a bond and a contract and a license just doesn't sound like Permit, you can begin. A blank is an evaluation of system design. Plans review? How about that? It's because it's the design. A blank is a set of regulations that prescribes material standards and methods to be used. Um, probably code. Call it code. Blank is the process used by What's that one there? Acronym man. Got our, our military guy here who can bang through the acronyms. <laughs> it's a process. I just got lucky. National recognized testing laboratories. Na national? Nationally recognized testing laboratories. Okay. So again, it, it 
whatever national lab could could be the DOE, could be Lawrence Livermore, could be uh, okay. Yeah, it's an OSHA recognized accredited safety test organization. Nice. Qualifying? I I would just say qualifying or listing. Maybe it is listing. Like UL. You will leverage her? Yeah. Certifying. Qualify. You like qualify? Yep. Okay. That was my first guess. Go with the gut. Blank space is the clear space reserved around. Like, oh, it's on. Working? You like dedicated? I'm going to go with working. Blank must be posted. You like working? Okay, sweet. Permit? Awesome. A construction blank is a contract. It's going to be bond or, or a contract. Bond keeps coming up there. <laughs> in, some, in some jurisdictions, blank are allowed to apply for permits and act as their own contractors without having a license. Is that it? Yeah, that's why it keeps coming <laughs> got, got our attention finally. Okay. I don't, this one, uh, that, that seems the most likely. Because I've been a renter and I know I can't do anything. No. <laughs> no. No. Oh, oh, dedicated may reserve. Reserved, reserved, or dedicated? We could say it's dedicated to this. It's, it's to be reserved. Or dedicated. Okay, okay. There we go. A blank is an organization, office, or individual designated by local. Must be the AHJ. No. All right. How do we do? Let's find out. What did we do? Oh, pretty good. We missed. What we miss? List okay, I was flirting with listing. I was flirting with listing. You're only wrong when you doubt yourself. <laughs> well, qualifying was my, my gut, and I went with listing. But okay, that was good. It was good. It took five minutes. Okay. See, so you're going to be out of that exam. <laughs> I don't get my book in the exam. Right? <laughs> <laughs> you don't get a study. This is a rehearsal. This is the... Yes, it will. Enough blueberries will take care of you. Uh, an electrolyte and flooded the open vent batteries must be maintained. Well, I think it's a soda thing. I think. You like distilled water? Yeah, 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 yeah. Blank is a repeated measurement of electrical environmental. Let's say monitoring. Monitoring. Blank is a troubleshooting step that involves determining which part of the system is not working properly. 
investigation. You don't, you're not buying it, you're not researching it, you're looking at it, well, and touching it, observing not it, observing. not just observing. Yeah. Any investigations? You need to investigate. Blake is a separation of the bonded layers of glass. It's like delamination. I've seen that before. Cool. Uh, data blank is a recorder. Data data analysis. Data analysis. Uh, blank is a testament of battery health by drawing a discharge current from a battery first. Hmm. Battery low Low discharge. High discharge. Well, if you're going to pull it, I mean, if you're going to pull it, you're going to need an ammeter. Um, it's got a good charge. Hmm. Oh, well, that one. You should call any of those. Not a hydrometer, though. I discharge current in a short time. Yeah. I mean, it, it sounds like you know what the voltage is, and you kind of want to know, hey, can you can you push a bunch of amps? It's not the hydrometer. is starting and operating for the first time. Commissioning! Call up the commissioner. Blank is a systematic method of investigating the cause. Uh, troubleshooting? Cause of problems. Line diagrams, operating procedures, and programming instructions. Posting your key components can be very helpful during I think so. A blank's an instrument used to measure the specific gravity. Hydrometer. Okay, I'm feeling good about this one. I'm feeling good. Submit all and finish. Oh, man. Oh, well. Eighty percent. <laughs> Observation. Really? Well. I guess. And observing the conditions, I guess maybe that's the giveaway it's supposed to be observing the conditions that may have contributed. Weird. I beg to differ. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Probably yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, I think I just rushed on that. Is really, when you're, you're, you're recording it and processing it, you haven't really analyzed it yet. You're just acquiring it. Okay. Okay. Then you analyze it. I think if I, yeah, and then, then you go analyze it. Well, I guess if I slowed down a little bit, I would have done better. Yeah, that's usually how it works. Okay. Speed. I actually just pressed the wrong one. <laughs> Make sure this guy's. Soul Fest Test. Would 
definitely do this. Definitely do this. Is this just kind of tight? This is a little practice exam. You yeah. Prepared for to know what you're looking. Yep. What you're be looking at. Yep. Yep. Thirty questions. Thirty questions. Yeah, I think it's designed for us to go through it twice. Yeah. Let's um. Yeah. Let's take a look at this guy. Here's the answer key. Let's just bang right through this guy, too. This is good. Okay. Um, fall protection. Six feet. Circuit breaker. Fuse switch over current. Yep, all the above. High voltage will trip a circuit breaker. No, it's current. It's current. Current trips a circuit breaker. Uh, between the main panel and the inverter. Yep, yep, because the inverter's got the, uh, right between the array, you have two of the above are correct. Which two of them are correct? <laughs> That's a weird one. Well, you got, yeah, because you got DC coming out of the array. Right, and then obviously AC is very good. Here's a panel. Prior question. I can see all of the above. That's a weird one. Yeah. If you had modules facing directly north and oriented vertically, would there be a time of the year when the sun's rays would hit the panels at 38 degrees latitude? Here's what I'm thinking on that one. Yeah, that's a. That's, yeah, let's just let's just yeah, let's just. I think that's a weird one. Let's just let's just look at it though. I think we might be able to. Well, we got to be in the north he northern hemisphere, right? So if we're if facing north, we are going to be facing south. You do want to face south. It's, it's, it's yeah, yes, yes, you do, yes, you do, yes, you do. Um, so if this is if this is north, and down here is south, or you know the the equator, right? And here's your no, here, here's your panel, and it's, it's facing this direction. So I I think. What's going on here is, um, you know how when, um, when when you hit the vernal and autumnal equinox, you have exactly 12 hours of sunlight per day. So here, so your your sun come you know comes up exactly in the east and sets exactly in the west. So this is going to be your equinox. path. And now if we say uh, December 21st, well, you don't have as much daylight. So that sun is never going to hit that panel during the, during the winter months. A after that autumnal equinox, it's never going to hit it because it's it's right here. You know, the sun's ray comes in here. There's your panel. And it just it just misses it. But so this is December. But in um, um, 
June, June 20th. Is that the right? Longest day? June 21st. June 21st, June 20th. On the, on the, longest, on the longest day, the sun's doing this. Right? And it's true, it's kind of weird. I'll, I'll, I'll see, like, why is the sun coming up way over there? Well, I noticed that. Yeah. That so in June, so here, here's your June. In fact, basically, this is this is your. Um, uh, so here, here's here's March 20 right here, and then as you creep out, there's your sunset. Here's September 20, and then you creep creep up. There's your sunrise. So for these six months, basically September 20 to March 20, you've got zero hours and then, then we'll say March 20 20 to September 20 you have some I'll just say some because you're because you're dealing with these you know these little chunks right here okay. does that make sense it's kind of a weird problem but that's I think that's where they're going with it I, still, I guess I just don't understand why we never say that you never will <laughs> you never will it's just a pesky uh, pes pesky problem. It, huh? Yeah. Well, I mean, I guess the issue the issue is if you if you think about it, you know, if you if you did not have a tracking system, and and the sun comes up at five a.m., you'd actually point it a little bit north. If you wanted to, if you wanted that thing pointed right at the sun, I mean, you got you're, it's mostly east, but you got a little bit of a north on that. Believe it or not, it's kind of weird. Yeah. So. yeah. That's going to be true for the total uh, hemisphere. Two phase. There's not really any two phase system anymore. Does the book even talk about two phase? I don't think you ever see two phase. Yeah, I think none of the above because nobody does two phase. All right, utility interconnection is done in this order. Uh, put on the PV, put on the charge controller, put on the battery, uh, attach your inverter and hook it up to the grid. That one's obviously wrong as the inverter has to come out of the panel. You gotta go to class. Okay. Yeah, the inverter would have to come there. Yeah. Okay, no magnetic north. California magnetic north is pointing more east than true north. Yeah, because in, on the other half of the country, it's pointing, pointing more west. Critical design month is the worst case scenario where the load and the blank are used. Insulation data, yeah, yeah. So that's how much, that's the resource, basically. If you're combining solar and wind, it's hybrid, cool. Irradiance proportionally affects amperage. Yeah, because the voltage is, is more or less pinned. The further north you are, the better it is to increase your, increase your tilt angle. Yep, closer to 90. Zero would be on the ground. 90 would be more tilted. According to the map, uh, yeah, magnetic and solar are different. Yep. Temporarily shorting the output terminals of PV. No effect. Is that just basically saying that if you accidentally short it, you're not going to mess up your market? Yep. It's DC, isn't it? Yeah. I just know where you know, the electrons just go around and around a racetrack. They don't mm -hmm. cook the heat. 
Uh, let's see. According to the sun diagram, the sun rises on the horizon in the summer. So, yeah, let's see if we can make this go a little bit bigger. So, I want to zoom in. So if we look here, this is um, June, July, May, August, April, September, March, October, February, November, January, December. The sun rises on the horizon in the summer. Um, this is March and September. Here's the summer down here. Okay. Here's uh, May, June, July, and August. This is 5 a.m., 6 a.m., 7 a.m. This is stuff that you don't that you don't get. Oh yeah. So this line. Uh, yeah. It, it's also saying the sun does not rise on the horizon in the winter. Is what it's also saying. Because you're, you're, this is the stuff you lose. This is, this is all. This is everything in here is good. Everything in here is your, is is lost energy. Yeah. The sun does not set at 4 p.m. No, it sets at three. And it sets at five. It never really sets at four. Solar noon is the same time as local. Mm. No way of knowing that. So Pathfinder is not low. No way of knowing that. Okay. The location above on a clear day, the sun will shine in February for. So here's February. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Four hours and 45 minutes. That's the closest one. Six. In the sunpath diagram for a grid tide system, you will want to tilt your modules blank to an azimuth that is east of south and altitude angle less than latitude. Tilt your modules blank for greatest annual net solar energy. Azimuth that is east of south in an altitude angle less than latitude. Well, this is this is east of south over here because it's more morning. And less than latitude. Hmm. I'm, just, I'm questioning is there's just kind of this weird blob outside the diagram. You get 3.30 in the morning sunrise then. What's that? You get really early sunrise. Uh, good tight system, you want to tilt your modules. Less than latitude. So you're, putting, you're putting it more, more vertical, so you're sort of cheating it towards, you're sort of cheating it towards this. I guess what they're saying is, you're trying to get more of this stuff in the morning because, because there's just less loss there anyway. And if you go a little bit flatter, because you would, you would tilt it up to get more in December, but, no, I'm sorry, you would, yeah, you would, you would get it more degrees, you know, closer to 90 to get your December and closer to zero to get your summer, less than latitude. So more of a summer setting. So this is a, be a southeast setting. So you're grabbing this stuff because you're losing this anyway. That's how I interpret it. Um, when the sun sets in the summer solstice, the farther yeah, it's the farthest north it'll ever set. To put that little diagram we just did for this north it'll ever set over here. 
the best way to increase your PV output. What's that mean? Switch from standalone to interactive, basically go from off grid to grid. This is because your batteries might full up, fill up. That would make sense. I guess so. Your batteries are full. It's always a waste of If V equals IR, then yep. Okay, fine. What are the factors that inhibit higher PV? Yep. Hot weather brings that down. Voltage drop. Uh, yeah, yeah. The voltage drop of a higher voltage would all be the same would be All right, we'll see we'll just wrap up and post the video. Sweet, I'll watch it again. The voltage drop of a higher voltage system, all else being the same. Voltage drop of a higher voltage system, all else being the same would be Question. I'm going to try to get that. Voltage drop of a higher voltage system almost being the same. I don't know what that means. Is it talking about, is, don't you increase your voltage to lower your percentage of voltage drops? Is that what it's talking about? Uh, just reading something. Let's just say let's just say you had a sixty volt system over here, and you had a three hundred volt system over here. I guess we'll, let's just say, for whatever reason, let's just say we, we lost 5 volts. And we lost 5 volts here. So in this, in this case, um, we're looking at 5 divided by 60 equals. So that's an 8% so drop. 5 divided by 300. That's a one one point five percent drop. So you, you lost you lost five volts on your sixty, and you lost five volts on your three hundred. Right. Uh, so it is a lower percentage. It's okay. The same yeah. Okay. Just yeah, it's a weird. It's a weird. It's weird. Worded very strangely. Linear current boosters. Kind of using direct pumping applications and drop voltage. Linear current boosters don't work well in the morning. <laughs> Decrease ohms per kilofeet. No. I don't even know what a linear current booster is. Are you, do you see that somewhere? Don't go Google. 
Let's see if Nab has anything to say about it. So you get more current at the set because you're, you're not going to get more power anywhere. You're just going to get more, more current, right. less uh, voltage. Uh, okay. So you might, yeah, you might. Sounds like a little bit like a like a transformer. Something like that. Yeah. Okay. Radiance, watts per square meter. St. Paul, Minnesota, the sun is up. Less than the sun hours a day, no. Less than the amount of sun hours per day at the equinox. Does that mean less than the amount of sun hours per day at the equinox? Well, at the equinox, it's the same. It's 12 hours and 12 hours, so the B is wrong. Okay. More than the number of sun hours per day part of the time. Well, I think it's just, aren't the, aren't the number of sun hours per day the sun hours per day all the time? It doesn't sound to be up. <laughs> I think it's got to be up. Yeah, well, I'm not sure what that would mean either. None of the above seems to make the most sense. Uh, the length of time a load is on is proportional to the energy used. Yeah. Power is energy times time. Equinox, it's the same day ever in the world. Same time. Yeah. Equinox happens twice a year, so D is wrong. Uh, if the grid shuts down, you cannot help your neighborhood by powering it. Uh, only a hundred degree can power. No, it's highly unlikely. That your modules can charge your batteries in an interactive battery backup system? Isn't that just because when you have an interactive system like that, you don't design, you design because you have the grid, so you don't have to have as much battery power after the fact? Yeah, but I would think, though, if the grid went down and you had an interactive system, you wouldn't have a whole heck of a lot of oh I think oh it's it's because your um because your loads are probably you, you're running your fridge and you're you're running your lights so your batteries aren't going to charge that's why not because the batteries are small okay for the NAB SEP PB exam you have to bring pencil and well rested mind normal calculator not a cell phone calm well rested analytical mind including a calm, well-rested mind. <laughs> All right, 
That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Is the gap oh. calculator in normal? No, I don't think. I don't think so. Basic. You can't. Yeah. I think. I think Tim said. Yeah, it's just the basic, basic calculator. Yeah. So I don't know why we need to calculate that. We can do it on paper. No. No, I don't think the problems are going to be that hairy. So just standard calc. Let's just take a quick look at this, and then I'll. There you go. 82 pages? How is that simple? Oh. This is the expedited permit process. Oh. Okay, we haven't really got, okay, so we're still on, we're on page five. We haven't seen anything yet. I think the best thing to do with this guy would just be to go read it and, and just highlight stuff like this. Five pounds per square foot. Four, like these are, these are some numbers just to kind of scribble down and commit to memory, right? Uh, all products are listed. Uh, four series or less. The output inverter is 13 kilowatts or less. 70 amp breaker. Yeah, I think this stuff is, is really important because when the thing goes in, it has to be documented because then it's, you know it's just like it's like the user's manual for your your car. You know how do you you know how do you change the fluids, where, you know, where's the, where's the fuse box, et cetera, et cetera. And if you just, everyone's just kind of going at it willy-nilly, when the system changes ownership, much harder. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of dealing with that with this electric car now. There's so much dang documentation on it. Kind of hard to tell what's what, but at least it's, at least it's there. At least it's there. But not in a, not in a very legible manner. Field inspection. History here. Oof. So th this is the stuff. This is the stuff you you focus on. Major components. Scale. Like think like does not have to be exactly the scale. Configuration, protection, inverter, disconnects. Step one. So this this is this is kind of the meat and potatoes. Yeah. And I've I've gone through these before with um, uh, an installer here in town. It's kind of fun. There's your drawing. It's necessary. Here's the specs on each thing, the modules. Little circuit drawing showing where all the parts are, numbered.
all the uh, voltages and amperages are listed. Microinverter. I, I, I would be surprised if there's anything these these show I mean, the one nice thing about this it actually shows you where each individual component is the gauge of the conductors is all all listed and so it's you know almost almost a one size fits all Oh, oh! I will fix that right now. I keep, I just, I keep forgetting. That. I either think about it when I'm not by it, someplace I can email you. Or okay, I'll fix it. Thank you. Oh, and also these are um, these are good acronyms. I would just go through here and, and just co commit these to commit. Com you, know, the, you should know what the uh, short circuit current is, the open circuit voltage. Max power point voltage, max power point current, those are all nice to have. Seems a little repetitive. It's for small systems. All the parts, ANSI numbers, calculations. High and low temps, those, that's really important too. Big deal in Montana. Um, so this is good. Throws you through this, and then knowing the uh, temperature factor will give you the maximum voltage. Here's that voltage, so temp low minus temp rating. There's your alpha, it's always in uh, degrees per C, and there's your range. And that's how the uh, new number comes out, so you can actually have pretty big swing in voltage depending on the temperature. Remember if, you're, if you've got amps in Parallel multiplier add straight away. Conductor size, so there's for um and there's your kind of over protection to 14 gauge 14 gauge 14 so the the more amps the bigger the gauge which means a smaller number on the gauge Here's your NEC 690. Back feed from utility. Listed plug-in type circuit breakers, back fed from utility interactive inverters complying with 69060 shall be permitted to omit the additional fastener normally required. Okay.
So if this is your convert, this is basically your your 125 percent over. Then your conductor. Bus barb amps, main amps. I don't know if this type. I don't. I don't know if this type of chart's going to be available or not. Might be a question for Tim. Uh, I don't. I don't see how you could memorize this, but might at, at least know that it's got to be over designed and know the way the um, conductor sizes work. Maybe maybe commit a couple of them to memory and, and fill in the blanks later. Okay, again, that 690 talks about um, grounding. Okay. Well, I don't, I'm not going to bore any more with the rest of it, but go through it, pick out the, you know, pick out the highlights, pick out the relevant numbers, and if there's some, um, some question, let's, let's pop it out there on the forum. Somebody will have an answer. I, and I, I know Tim will be uh, diving into the forum, too, so it will be good stuff. Okay, so let me fix the... Um